Well, when I first started doing glass, I knew I loved it so much. I wanted to leave my fingerprint in glass that I was here. I've been doing glass since 1997. So what happened is I was once known as a frog maker. And in one part of my life, I was known as the marble maker. Of course, I was like the penguin maker and the dragon guy. And then, you know, had the success of making collectibles while everybody else was making pipes. Start drawing this octopus on. When you go into something and you really get involved in it, you really, it opens up your mind and you evolve and then eventually in glass what happened was I learned how to do all this handwork stuff that I started really being intrigued by the history of glass and how I could go back in history and look at something and recreate it. And that really led to this next adventure and what happens is, you know, you, you get into it and you write a book on how to do it. Shot glasses were handcrafted before 1926. The handcrafted shot glass got taken over by the machine. One thing that, was, uh, uh, that the machine did though, is it made the shot glass a novelty piece. And so you could walk into a liquor store, an airport, a gas station, a truck stop, a gift shop, that the shot glass is the biggest collectible in glass period. For right now, I really plan on making shot glasses the, one of the next big things in glass. It was a gift from the universe from making collectibles all these years. The glass gods, they said, if we're going to give this to somebody, this would be the guy.